what we will now do is uh, we will fetch message uh, on the turn to particular user which is selected here all right so let's go to private chat uh, component and on fetching uh, message section currently we are uh, uh, fetching all messages let's do private message let's create this route private messages and then we have to pass the id of user so user id actually uh, the user id is uh, receiver id so we need to uh, fetch the message uh, between the currently logged in user and then receiver so we have access to currently logged in user uh, from laravel session so no need to pass that that's why we uh, will pass the receiver id all right so yeah let's say friend id because uh, that is good friend id so it might confuse you if there is receiver sender so friend means uh, our friend now uh, we need to pass any friend id from here so so on load uh, we cannot fetch message but when someone clicks on any user will uh, show the message so so on click uh, we'll call fetch messages and we'll pass the user dot id also we will also not display ourselves so currently we are fetching all user so we will check if here if dot id is not equals to signed in user dot id okay so we should have access to signed in user or let's say how we are passing that let's go to private dot plate and from here we are passing the user uh, user object so we are getting user as props let's call it uh, something else let's call it friend friend dot id so user id will be authenticated user uh, if that matches friend dot id so the current logged in user shouldn't be displayed there let's see if we broke anything yeah so we can see our friend only not uh, ourselves and also we don't see any message so all right so on click of this message we'll we are passing friend id and then from here we will affess this uh, and assign the all messages before that we need to create the route right so so we created this route private message and pass user we named it as message messages so let's go to message controller and create this method private messages all right so let's uh, give a quick recap what we did here is uh, we created a private messages method to fetch all the private messages and the main thing about this method is this query uh, which is facing the um, uh, private communication between two user, uh, users so we are doing this where is facing the um, all message sent by the currently logged in user which is webdematics to receiver id which is this subendu all right also we want message sent by this subendu to currently logged in user which is webdematics so we do where or where we satisfy this method user id equals to this subendu to currently logged in user which is which will be receiver that is how it works so similarly we will need another method to send the private message all right so so let's create a new method for that let's not touch existing functionality we will refactor it later but for now just send uh, create another method for send private message and request and here instead of creating this what we'll do is uh, we'll pass all request data and let's uh, leave everything as is send private message private send successfully 
and we need to create the route for that as well private messages and this will be the post send private messages private message plural no singular send private messages okay so the route is created and now let's go to private chat component and uh, we have we have uh, send message method there so let's update the route we'll send post request to just created route and we need to also send in the friend id which we will be passing from here friend id and in message controller send private message request also will be accepting the user user will be the receiver let's create input so initially input will be request of receiver id receiver id will be the user id all right and also we need to we need to make those fields fill over there so let's uh, make it guarded so guarded means everything field uh, so field issues by here will be guarded won't be fillable for now let's make everything fillable although it is not good practice uh, okay so that should create a new private message all right so when someone hits enter uh, we should send message to the particular user which is currently active all right so uh, let me add some more user to database that way we have something some more data to work with all right so we added couple of more users there so if we hit this we should get that if we hit this we shouldn't get any message if we hit that so currently uh, instead of uh, fetching message on click uh, let's make a uh, user active uh, what I mean by that is so currently on clicking that we are fetching message what we'll do here uh, is set active user all right so that will be friend set active friend that will be friend dot id and we need to create that method here active friend is null actually why why create method we can directly assign that on clicking that what we'll do here is active friend equals to friend dot id all right so now we don't need to pass to every method that would require active friend so we don't need friend id here so this friend id will be this dot active friend also we'll check if there is active friend or not i mean if user have selected any active friend so if no active friend please select friend so that is the send sending message part similarly for facing message part we do same thing this dot active friend same thing if no active friend is selected we will just please select friend so we, we need to watch this active friend variable for facing message so we create a watcher so if the active friend changes this start fetch messages so yeah like so like so there we go so now let's try sending message to this user hey subu yeah so we send that message let's see in database if that persists or not yeah so that persisted let's read these messages and start over 
so I will log in with two different user alright so currently everything blank uh, let's send message hi Subindu please select a friend it says so we sent uh, the message so we got that message message here hey man yeah so we getting that message here so if I go to Hitesh we shouldn't see that message also let's log in with other user like this Hitesh yeah so all those messages uh, cannot be seen on this group chat you can verify here and if I go to private chat if I go to web tab I shouldn't see any messages uh, let's make uh, let's keep uh, one identifier so that we know which user is active so here to make it uh, dynamic we'll keep a uh, color dynamically like friend dot id is equals to active friend if that is so we'll uh, load uh, green otherwise it's normal all right so this is active this is active this is active but our real-time uh, messaging is not working.